here we are at Float House in Gastown with Mike Zaremba, who's going to guide us through a tour. This is Miss Echo One. Hey. <laughs> so we're going to just take a quick little tour through and see what it looks like in here. All right, come on and welcome. Thank you. So we have uh, water at your disposal. Yes. And then uh, on this wall we have our featured artist. Every four to six weeks we have a different artist come in and uh, display their work that it just helps us change up our decor a little bit and provides them with some exposure to our uh, our community as well. Awesome. Down here we have our salts. So actually this is what the actual Epsom salts that we put into each tank comes in. And we put uh, 900 pounds in each tank, which means that we put 18 50 pound bags into each tank. Great. So, um, and then naturally we have each tank in its own private room. So there's five tanks here with five rooms, each with their own showers. And, um, and then back here is just more utility, maintenance kind of stuff. So, okay. Um, a couple more paintings? Yeah, some more paintings. We had too much, too many paintings, so we just had to stack them all up there. But um, Nice, beautiful yeah. artwork. Thank you. Cool. So, And who's this back here? This is Nick. <laughs> hey, Nick's Nick. Want to say one, hi? He's one of the soldiers that uh, help us out here. So Awesome. Yeah. He's a very handsome man. That's right. <laughs> so are you, Mike. That's oh. the prerequisite. That's right. <laughs> the floating helps you stay handsome, right? Of course. Because if you stay like happy and you know holistic and well, then you know you just you just radiate positive energy. So awesome. It's very attractive. And women can be handsome too, right? Of course. Women okay. are <laughs> handsome and beautiful. The goddesses of the world, right? So, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So could, uh, as a newcomer, what, uh, what would you tell a newcomer that's trying this for the first time? Well, I mean, if you don't know what it's about, basically a float tank has 10 inches of water and it's an encapsulated environment so it's contained where you open a door and you get inside and like I was saying, there's 900 pounds of Epsom salt inside the water, uh, which makes it very, very dense. So when you lie in it, you float effortlessly, kind of like the Dead Sea, but even more dense than the Dead Sea. Um, the water is heated to the same temperature as the surface of your skin. So when you're floating in it and you kind of settle into the solution, you don't really feel it too much anymore. It's, it's skin receptor neutral. Also, it's pitch black inside and you can't hear anything. So the point of the environment is to minimize as much sensory input from coming into your nervous system as possible. And um, your body actually has a pretty profound response to this, which is called the relaxation response. So the relaxation response basically is uh, the activation of your parasympathetic nervous system and it's responsible for replenishment, healing, rejuvenating, um, and it flushes all the stress hormones out of your body and, uh, and creates a very, very uh, relaxing state for yourself to be in. Um, and then that's the physical side, but this, the mental side, it actually induces a very deep state of meditation potentially for some people. Um, where it holds you in what's called the theta state, which is a brain frequency that's measurable. That's associated with uh, more like uh, meditative uh, type states and uh, creative thinking, inspiration, um, and also lucid dreaming. So uh, these are all different things that people in various forms experience in the tank. And how often do you recommend a session? Um, it, it completely depends on the individual. Like everyone is different. Everyone's biochemistry is different. Everyone's psychology is different. Every day is different. So um, you know, it, it really depends on what's going on in your life, what you feel your needs are. But I personally enjoy floating about twice a week. I find if I'm doing that, and if I'm making enough time in my schedule to get in twice a week, that's uh, I feel great. You know. Um, Sometimes in your life that you might need to float more or you might choose to float more just out of what's going on. Sometimes less, you know. So it's, uh, but there is an accumulation effect with floating and, um, and a learning curve, which means like if I haven't floated for like a month or so and then I go back into the tank, it's a little rough, it's a little jagged, you know, it's not so smooth. But if I'm kind of going regularly and consistently, it's, uh, it builds upon itself. It's like a muscle, it's like exercise. If you're out, out of shape, you're deconditioned, then you're not going to be as uh, efficient as you are when you are in shape. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I had a great experience, and I think you guys have a wonderful staff here. And so um, we're going to post this up on uh, www.thrivinglive1.tv awesome. to let everybody know where you are. Um, yeah. So we're in Gastown, Vancouver, and our website is floathouse.ca. 
and uh, we also have a great Facebook community going on, so we repost uh, different promotions, contests, and a lot of floating information, and then also just fun stuff to give you an idea of kind of what we're all about in terms of a cultural sense, too. So okay. check us out. Awesome. Thanks. Check it out. Peace.